uh, yeah, I just disabled host mode using better Twitch TV. Why did it, the why did the host come back up? That's odd. I don't want to watch people's hosted streams. I just don't like it. Ah, there you go. You're not getting to Evan's Sword tonight. Well, but he is still moving on toward Heaven's Yeah, moving towards Heaven's Word would be a more accurate title. But I, I have, I, I have been working on the Shadow Buddies, MSQ. Ah, uh, yes. I, I just finished all the patch five point one MSQ and the new Alliance raid, and I'm still working on clearing the trial. I, I um, mean, I. I've come across something, and I'm like, you know, I, 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 I think I see what they're trying to foreshadow, but even asking would be a potential spoiler, and so I'm just like, I want to ask, but I don't want to ask. I want to ask, but I don't want to ask. You can send me a DM. Um, did you change? Maybe not. Oh, graphic settings maximum. Oh, yes, yes. You see, I had the bit of Twitch TV settings, so I couldn't see what you were actually doing. And now I've got better Twitch TV settings again. <laughs> Hooray for you! You know my accomplishment for the day? Look at my level. <laughs> wow. Nice. Yeah. Three tanks at 80. One more to go. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, awesome. well, I just... Get a healer to 80. Let's just say I made an astronomical leap in my graphics processing capability. So uh, I, I can now run anything I can throw at my PC. Very nice. It's a very nice. Same day shipping, too. And my rod, my staff goes straight through my hood. Oh, a lot of white mage stuff does that. I noticed. know. It's magical. All right. Anyway, it's, it's called clipping, and it's terrible, and it's annoying, and it's all <laughs> Wait, like, tell me, tell me how you like, really think. Like the haft of my axe going through the bottom of my robe there, or <laughs> coat, rather. Actually, it's more of a coat than a robe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Okay, so um, we tackled uh, Will and I tackled. Actually, no, were you there? I can't remember. I helped with some of this. Yeah, you helped with a little bit of it. Uh, we tackled that dungeon last time as well. Did we do a dungeon? I don't remember doing a dungeon. We did. No, it was... Wait, we did a trial. No. We did Garuda? We did Amdapur. Did did okay, it? that's right. I don't... I, I mean, you must have done that with Will before I showed up. Yeah, you weren't there. It was, it was well, after it, you I, took off. Yeah. We met some really nice homies. Yeah, they, they were actually, because they were... Eh. The vibe I got was that they were like a married couple, and I think they assumed that Farrell and I were a married couple as well. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, Qui-Gon, how you doing? I, yeah. I can't remember, was I, <laughs> was I on Soraya or Alma on that? You were on Alma. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're Alma. So I, yeah, I think they thought that uh, Joya and Alma were, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, 
so what do, so I don't know what to do right now. I don't know I don't know what the plan Go is. Go talk with Arian J. Um let me give you a teleport to the right place. You know what also, I think I just realized? You might be able to pick up the new game plus feature, but you're not going to be able to use it until you get through at least part Heaven's of Heaven's Word. Word because they have not added a Realm Reborn to New Game Plus. Because oh. they're going to rework a Realm Reborn so that it um, is less uh, lengthy. Not in this? Um, there's a lot of filler in a Realm Reborn and they want to remove the filler, finally. But yes, if we just head this way to Vesper Bay. You should be right next to the Waking Sands. All right. Oh, yeah. It's there for you. Qui-Gon, just to let you know, we are now operating at maximum graphical settings. Um, if you really want to, you can up the graphic settings even more using third-party programs. Yeah, probably. No, you definitely could. I, I don't know if your computer could handle it. Um, I, I'm running an i7 and an RTX 2060 Super now. You just said a bunch of letters that mean nothing. What? What? You? It? What? What? How? How do you not understand those basics? Uh, because I'm not up to date with computer hardware. <laughs> so yes, the new game plus guy isn't there for, yet for you. Um, so I just go talk with your Anj. He'll have new quests for you. If he what? doesn't talk with them in Philian, she'll give you a quest to go talk with Arian J. But I think okay. did that. So the GTX uh, 2060 is two steps below the absolute best, well, pretty much the, the sane best uh, graphics card in the NVIDIA line you can possibly get right now. So this, so, let's see here. Yeah, this has eight gigs and ray tracing. Okay, so you've got the graphical processing bar. How much RAM do you have? 16. Okay. Let's see, my knowledge of CPUs is a little better. You're, you've got an i7. I don't know that's a newer model. I don't know how many cores you've got, though. Uh, Six core? I think mm. it's six. Of course, I also don't. There's a lot of specifications, and depending on the game, like say Planet Side Two. Now that that is a very CPU-heavy game, but it doesn't like multi-core processors. Mm. So you're actually usually you're better off with like an i4 or an i5, like a quad core with a higher clock speed per core than the more modern more cores at lower clock speeds standard. Oh yes, we get to do the clear Titan. Titan is Titan. Hey, operator. Yeah. Send me an invite. Oh, good point. <laughs> I should do that. Um. Ah, uh, you're on this one. So, yes? Um, no, you don't want to do that one yet. Okay. Well, I mean, That's... I guess you can you can pick it up. You're just no, not, you know. Let's, let's get him through the 2.0 content before we start him on the 2.1 content. All right, so come back out. Yeah. Um, I'm party leader. Oh, wait, that's right. You've got to go... Talk to so Qui Gon, what build? What build are you looking at doing? And also, just for your information, I just picked up the uh, Forsaken um, uh, Destiny Two content. It was on sale through November first for fifteen bucks. So I swiped that today. I was very happy to pick that up. Ooh, I seven. Yeah, I'm I'm currently running an i7 build. Yep. Holy jockstrap. Yep. Yep. 
And, oh, he's already done the, uh, he had to have done the Nier Automata quest if he has that this... bandana on. Actually, wait, does that have that one? Oh, that's there, what it looks there's... like. Yeah, that is that one. Yeah, There's cause... multiple bandanas. I right. have a bandana from, I can't remember if it was Stormblood or the Heaven Sword quest line. You need to head to the Aft Castle. Oh, Aft Castle, um, okay. Nope. It's almost the exact same as that, except the uh, patch covers the other eye. Uh, not that. I don't want to tell. Take a left. One second. I'll talk to the guy Maelstrom Command. Um... Let's see, where was the Titan Etherite for um, Hard and Extreme? It's, uh... Is it in Eastern? Um... I think it might be in Eastern. Uh, with Deep Within Ugamaro Mines. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, um... What is it, Bronze Lake? No, that's... Overlook. Yeah, Overlook. I'm gonna get the teleport set up. Take it once you finish getting to the point where they want you to go find the Etherite. Yep. Um, and don't bother with a Realm Reborn Beast Tribes at this point. They're, um, let's just say there's something you do once you've uh, done Heavensward, Stormblood, and Shadowbringers Beast Tribes. Oh, yeah, pretty much all I'm doing um, with regards to those is just unlocking it. Yeah. Like, that's all I'm but, doing right now. I don't just... even need to do that, really. But I want to. But you'll forget about all their story. Be I say this from experience because I've forgotten all about their stories. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Operator, because mm -hmm. it's been said that you have a a roadmap, I guess, for Farrell's uh, advance through the game. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, get him through content more or less relatively as it came out, as far as I can tell in the order it came out. Uh, because I've you do have him scheduled for Hildebrand, correct? Um, we might just take it a few days and knock out all the Hildebrand. In succession, along with oh, the uh, Briardian, because otherwise, it, the Hildebrand it can be really hard to keep up with if you don't do it all at once. Oh well, yeah. Get off the mount and let me kill this stupid thing. <laughs> Attune. I got slapped by a rock. Alright, there we go. Duty! Duty! Prepare for insta-kill. Okay, game, come on. Insta-kill. Tank and two healers. Insta-kill. Give us a trials for that group. Come on. <laughs> come on. You can find another tank and four DPS easily. Come on. <laughs> Suicide Poither! <laughs> well, it's gonna take a second to find a tank. Then it's just gonna insta kill. There's plenty of DPS around. There's always too many DPS. Well, why aren't. Why don't we have four DPS queued already? Um, probably because it's trying to do something else. Mm. Like, look for the tank. And as soon as it finds the tank, it'll just throw four DPS in here. Oh, by the way, if you want to watch something cool, Qui-Gon, go check out my three Tetris 99 wins from yesterday. That was uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> the fact yeah, that I'm I... Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, I'm, I'm sorry that I, I didn't make it here last night, but I was just like, you know, I have a job interview tomorrow morning, so I'm just going to go to bed and make sure I get good sleep. Oh, how'd that go? How, you had a job interview. How'd it go? Um, I, I 
I think it went okay. But My, mind me asking who it was with. Um, the local uh, community action agency. Okay. Um, uh, it, it's called the Blue Water Community Action Agency. It's uh, basically a agency that helps, you know, community yeah, provide community resources and such. The job title that I applied for was uh, emergency services coordinator. Oh, okay. So is that kind of like disaster related stuff? Uh, personal and family emergency, like financial. Oh, okay. Emergencies, like you know, I I, I think it's you know people who who find themselves in in, in crisis. I will be helping yeah. coordinate, you know, helping them figure out how to coordinate to you know get their bills paid and then. Oh, okay. Yeah, teaching them. Hey, you know what? Let's teach you how to handle your money so that you don't run into this situation again. And I suddenly just realized that this is the first time I've uh, healed in a group since I've been back. Uh huh. And you committed the cardinal sin of casting Medica 2 right out of the game. Hey, I never said I was a good healer. I just said that that's how I usually play. Um, that actually was uh, me. I uh, casted Medica 2. Right. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's overhealing, which is bad. I never said I was a good healer. <laughs> well, fortunately, they reduced the requirement for enmity management to zilch. Also, unfortunately, because it makes tank very, very boring. Oh yes, he does go all the way to the center of the platform on this one. See how much aggro control I have? I can't move. I can't move. That's a good thing because you're in the crag gal and it protects you from getting hit by that. Hooray! Otherwise, you'd have gotten knocked off the edge and be permitted for the rest of the fight, or until we wiped. Oh, he's still on board. There we go. Oh yeah, don't stand in front of him. He's got a AOE cleave. the west side of the platform. Get to the middle of the platform. Don't forget to heal the tank. Ah. Or yourself. Yeah. need to tell the tank to uh, get in the robot. I have no clue what the heck you're talking about. Look at his name. And? Get in the robot, Shinji. <laughs> I got that one. <laughs>
Uh, all right. So White Mage does not really have a pre pull as far as I'm aware. Except, like, put regen on the tank. Preferably only the main tank. Who's technically the main tank then? Me. Please focus on the fight. Please explode in the order they were dropped. To the south side, mid. Ah. Okay, maybe they made some changes in the expansion, but where the heck are all my AoE heals? You have Medica, you have Medica 2, you have a size. Yeah, where is the size? Isn't it on your hot bar? No. Well, you probably removed it also. I think it's not something you get before level 50. Remember, you're synced to 50. Yeah. The size I'm thinking was 56. Go through your abilities and make certain you've gotten them all figured out. What not. <sighs> but at that rank, you pretty much have Medica and Medica 2. I was thinking there was another two. one that I had. Mm, no. Maybe I, maybe I guess I'm just used to having a size in the asylum. There we go. Yeah, we've got it. But it's not something you get. Yeah, I don't have it. Really? Let's see. Yeah. 
Yeah, Asylum's 52. Flight of Soul is 52. Asylum, yeah, size is 56. Yeah, 50 below. Yeah, you have Cure 3. That's what you have. I never used Cure 3. You've never done any content where you're stacked up as a group and need AoE healing. Well, I mean, usually if there's AoE healing needed, I have a size or Asylum. Yeah, you've not done Savage. <sighs> savage. Okay. Savage. So, what's next? I um, think back to Vesper Bay. Did you complete the quest? Um, where's your quest thing? Um, J for choice journal. So that's Lev's. That's Blue Mage. Oh, we got Odin. And that is... So wait, you don't have to turn in that quest? No, the turning in is um, is opening the uh, the duty, duty finder. Okay. Yeah. Duty. In that case, we just head back here and go pick up the extreme ones. We are not doing these synced. <laughs> I think there's a reason for this. Well, you're not going to see it because I'm going to go in there and I'm going to blow the. Uh, some things out of them. Do the pooper schnickles? Here. No, Come more on. like um, the head things. They see me rolling. They hating. Oh, they just say see me just now riding dirty. See, yes. I always preferred white and nerdy. Yeah, I know. I prefer white and nerdy, too. I want to bowl with the gangsters. Oh, well, I think they just, I, they think I'm just too white and nerdy. They think I'm just too white and nerdy. We also need to go to the Wandering Minstrel and pick up some quests from him. Oh, yes. The Wandering Minstrel? Yes, we find him in Mordona, but we'll do that in a second. We've got to go pick up the next one from Urion J. Okay. Oh, you know, I think I've decided my next D and D character is going to be named Urion J. <laughs> with the uh... with the exact same spelling, and so when my group looks at me and and they see the spelling and they hear me, the pronunciation, they're okay. going to be like, "Out of the what? way." So, have you gotten to the dialogue choice, Kupo, yet? Well, in Shadowbringers. Mm-hmm. No, I don't think so. Okay. You, you would know if you had. By the way, it's absolutely worth choosing. It's hilarious. Um, now I'm thinking maybe I missed it or something? I don't know. No. Well, because... What level are you in the MSQ? Oh, excuse me. 70. Oh, definitely haven't hit it then. Okay. Well, no, because I think I've met up with uh, Alphano and Elise. You're going to have met up with several more people and be about yeah. 74 to 76, somewhere in there. Okay. Well, yeah, because I just met up with Alphano. We're at uh, El Olmore, something like that. The Olmore. Yulmore. And you know Mule? Mm -hmm. I've got this 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 I have got this thought that <laughs> Soylent Green. Uh-huh. I, I mean, you know, it's just something with about the way it's presented mm -hmm. and I'm just like I I Either you that, just have to find out, won't you? I was gonna say either that, or you've been playing Xeno Gears. <laughs> so yeah, um, the quest that you're gonna get that dialogue option is at seventy-four. Absolutely okay. hilarious. Absolutely. 
So the most hilarious part of that whole conversation happens like two lines right. before. I mean, there are various parts of the MSQ that, you know, are just like mm -hmm. very enjoyable. I, I, I'm, I'm remembering one right now in Stormblood uh, between the, uh, the Aura tribes. I can't even remember exactly how it goes, but it's just like... Uh... Adders. Okay. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, you should know the way to the Adder's Nest by now. Yep. So, um... I hope I do. Nope. I don't. Let's see here. Considering you're headed the wrong way, no, you don't. No, I forget. <laughs> the Adder's Nest is basically the aft castle for the Gridanian rig. Right. Mm. Except there's no teleport there. You have to walk from the east right all the way there. Oh, so far. So far. Yeah, it's far enough to just find east right. Come on. It's like, <laughs> come on, devs. Just put an east right there and by the inn. Come on. Really. Just let me be lazy and use Ethernet to go everywhere. The blue badges? We don't need no stinking badges. Uh huh. There's a few badgers that would like to disagree with you. You don't get the reference, do you? Nope. Well. Actually, no, no, I the can't. The duty finder settings. <laughs> I was going to be so much better. I, I was going to say, I was going to say, you know, it's it's time for Will to do is stop what you're doing, put the game down, go and watch Blazing Saddles, but. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, okay, no, no, here's the thing. I mean, yes, Blazing Saddles was amazing for its time, but I watched it recently. It does not age well. No. Oh, no, I mean, it, it does really not. It really does not age well. <laughs> it, is, it is so cheesy. Oh, yes. We have to go get to that crystal, don't we? Um. Okay, so this is going to be a long trip. Yay! <sighs> oh, boy. Put on your this winter is... coat. Yeah. Not the fun crystal to get to. Can I just wear a shawl? Actually, the White Mage outfit, the AAR, uh, White Mage AF gear, actually looks pretty warm. North exit. We must head east. Must head east. Yeah, I did this one on my own. This one was fun. Yeah, except for all of the, uh, Ixali trying to gore you alive as you try to get to the stupid ether, right? I actually did pretty good with not getting impaled too profusely. They seem to lose interest really quickly, though. Yeah, that's not the hard part. The you know, hard part is these last couple that are right next to the ether, right? Yeah, I somehow managed to blow right by them. I don't understand how I pulled that off. Whoops, wrong way. Roar. Well, it'll not be an issue today. <laughs> Level 80 warrior is uh, more than powerful enough. <laughs> so, plan of action is you attune to this, I go in there, I pop a couple of buttons, and I <laughs> nuke this Garuda before she can even scream for bloody murder. That sounds fancy. 
but but Garuda typically does that fairly quickly. I mean, that's that that's one of her things. Don't worry, I'm a warrior. We solo old Are content. We? It's what we do. Oh, oh, I, I must. Okay, speaking of warriors, I must, I must say, I found something very fun and interesting today. So you know, you know that whole uh, terrorist jerk face that the uh, that the that got killed over the weekend. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, no. So they got um, Omar Al Baghdadi, who was like the biggest jerk face of all jerk faces right now uh, in he's, ISIS. He's an ISIS mastermind. He, he oh, okay. uh, corrupted kids and recruited them and whatnot on the internet. No, no, this is the dude that burnt people in cages and put it on Facebook. <laughs> and yeah. he's cowering behind three kids in a cave crying for mother. Do you know do you know what the uh the name of the dog was that went after him? No. Conan. <laughs> that is that is so fitting. It's like Conan the Adventurer. Conan Warrior without fear! He da, 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 da. Whoa! Wait, did you just pull off <laughs> the 90s animated Conan theme? Yes! Hmm. Kudos, sir! Kudos! I died. Yeah, that was to be expected. I'm completely ignoring mechanics. I know. Dude, Conan. Conan, the 90s Conan was glorious. It was so glorious. I. It, that, that was one of the shows that I'm just like, you know, I wish I had a chance to see more of it, but it it was on during swim, per, uh, swim workouts, so. When did I watch that? I'm trying to think of when I watched it. I don't remember. And I'm dead again. <laughs> Why you die? Because he doesn't Why you know die? Why is my dead sound effect not playing? Uh, uh, of course he's swinging. Uh, he's dead, with dead, the, dead, with dead, you are dead. And he doesn't dead, know any of the mechanics dead. for Extreme Garuda. Well, it's because my Sherpa is failing on the job. You don't need to know the mechanics unless you're doing this thing. Ooh. Need? Yay! I don't know if that's actually better than what you have, but it might be. Shut if up! It's you... shiny and it's mine! Well, if you're still using the leveling rings, it's definitely better. If we set you up with ironworks rings, those are better. Shiny! Ooh, and I'm getting poetics. Yeah. First time bonus poetics, which should be enough to get him a full set of ironworks, which will get him through Heaven's Word quite nicely. Well, because I realize there's one more thing I could possibly upgrade of what I have. And that's my weapon. Ah, uh, yes. Because my eye level right now is only 394. Oh, yes, you have the mendacity weapon from when that was still a thing. We could also take you through Savage Chaos to get you a, another 400 ring, if we could find a party to do it. Savage Chaos? What's that? 09S, Alpha Escape version 4.0, Savage. Ah. It shouldn't be too hard with a bunch of level 80s. You'll you will only need to learn a few mechanics, but okay. You should have plenty of health once you get up to 80. Or, well, at that point, it doesn't really matter. But okay, so where does where's the location? Um, Adder's Nest in Gridania. Okay. But yes, um. Did you, let's see, Will, did you clear all of the um, Stormblood Raid series? Um, I believe so. Let me, 
You can check in your duty list. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and they they finally implemented the drop down menu tab like systems. So you don't have all you don't you know when you pull up the uh, duty finder, you don't have to sort through or you don't have to scroll through all three expansions of old content. So, Stormblood Raids, I have Alpha Escape uh, Savage 4.0. Okay, so if you've got up to that unlocked, you had to have cleared all four of normal. Oh, yeah. Because you unlocked all of those with <laughs> when you after you completed 4.0 on normal. And then I have... Uh... Uh, Orbon Monastery as well. Did you complete Monastery? Does it have the check mark? Yes. Okay, that's good. Alright. So, uh, Waking Sands is next for that one. Okay. Then it will be Titan. Uh huh. Hmm. An extreme titan. That's that's just gonna be a blast. I see what you did there. That wasn't a pun. <laughs> oh, oh, I, Farrell. I know you'll appreciate this. Okay. Uh, I was in Mordona. I want to say either yesterday or earlier today and I came across an NPC he's he's, he's standing on you know, over the gate looking out you know out of the city at the frontier mm -hmm. and the, what the, the chat bubble that pops up periodically above the NPC's head I can see clearly now the rain is gone <laughs> I I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just like you. The localization team in this game is—they are so on point. Uh -huh. Now in Korean English, I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. <laughs> My first exposure to that I song. I can't laugh at that. Was <laughs> at the end of the movie. Igor, when they had the blind uh, kids going out onto the stage singing it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all the blind orphans just wandering off onto the stage singing, I can see clearly now the rain is coming. You gave Petey As one to of them the... falls off the stage. You gave Petey to the blind kid? <laughs> Hey, I told you I took care of it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Jim Carrey. Yeah. That, that was yeah. back in the good days. Good old days. <sighs> I love Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> that's, like, that's like one of those... There, there are certain movies that you love them because they are so quotable. The whole movie put together... Is just kind of like, uh, but quotables so good. It's I... like, uh, it's like, dude, where's my car? Absolutely moronic movie, very, very, very hilarious quotes. Love it, dude. Dude, what does mine say? Sweet. <laughs> Your tattoo say, dude. Your tattoo say, sweet. Idiots. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh, let's see suddenly, here. you remind me of UHF. <laughs> Stupid. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Stupid. <laughs> Now you're reminding me of my co-tanks this evening in Savage. <laughs> First raid. Okay, the co-tank was good, but the, the rest of uh, the static was not on their A-game tonight, so they, they left after the first raid. Second raid. Absolutely terrible pal paladin. 
significantly undergeared for this point in the tier. Third, <laughs> well, we didn't get to the third raid. We went and did the new trial. Uh, Dark Knight, that despite being well geared, just did not really work well with me. Did not communicate and whatnot. All right, so we got Rashad Riki at Maelstrom Command or report to the mystery individual at Wineport. Maelstrom Command. That's the one. Oh that... no! Oh no! Oh, Primal Awake. That's coils. Cool, wake me up before you all go to get it there that is there it's so low. Quake me up before you go more. Cause you gotta go dancing tonight. Gonna get real high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I say about the localization team? I know. <laughs> It's like you do not you do not get No, stop that. Stop that. I wanna blacklist you because you're a dork face. Bye, dork face. Alright, this way. Yep. Blacklist them, report them, and move on. I'm doing my duty. Duty! Yep, they'll get banned by the Well, the next time they do a ban wave. Because they do these things in waves. Bandwave. Now I'm going to teleport to Ogamoro. Bop a dap. So we can just speed this up. Alright. Same ether right is hard. Take the teleport when you're ready. What teleport? Didn't I give you the teleport? I was sitting in the same area as you. No. Nope. I didn't get the teleport because I was in a different area. But oh, there it right is. By your map. No, we're good. For, I'm I'm used to it in my right corner. You moved it. And yeah, I, I know. I I was I was trying to make my GUI work uh -huh. better. Now you suffer because you change things. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up before I pajama pajama you. Uh huh. Pajama 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 pajama. That's a good job Operator? making convincing threats. <laughs> Operator, is he having a stroke? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we should call 911. No, I'm. No, you call 9 Juan Juan. <laughs> okay, his speech is throwing. I think we need to call 911. <laughs> no, he's okay. just turning Mexican. He's turning Mexican. He's turning, turning Mexican. I really think so. Ba -na 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 -da -da -da. Man, that speech throw is getting really bad. <laughs> Uh, this guy is so bad. Yeah, yeah. You know, people really don't trust me to dial 911 because I, I, I can never find the 11 on the keypad. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep telling me to press any key. I don't know what the any key is. Where's the I mean... any key? Stop throwing crap at me. Just attuned to the ether. Uh. I tried, but then someone threw a rock at my face. It was the kobolds. All right, let's go to the extreme belly button. Same deal. Not die. I, I feel so naked without having protect on. You mean tetragrammaton? No, protect. Oh, protect. I. I I hear you apparently. I heard Tecton. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, no. Protect is gone. Garbage. Goodbye forever. Huh, oh, no, like I, I, I understand that, but it it. This is the thing I hate about doing this.
Well, at least we skipped like three phases. Yeah, just three of those in extreme, by the way. I can't move. Yeah, you just two of those. Don't worry about it. Okay. That's why you don't worry about it. <laughs> One shot, Titan's heart. Okay, one shot. We're down to the absolute minimum of the platform. And I absolutely love Warrior. Yeah, this is so much fun. I apply to die. I'm helping. Yeah, your dot's doing nothing. <laughs> I'm helping! I'm not helping. I'm dead. No, you're getting hard carried. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, this is on you, Pharaoh, um, Will. Uh? Better start casting that stuff. That may be a little holy. What did you do? Oh, that's right, they're fully resistant. Um, I got knocked off. <laughs> I didn't get out of the AOE fast enough. Forgot the first rule of raids. <sighs> oh, I only rolled a seven. I can't believe we actually saw a whistle. Is that one I have? I can't remember. Um, check your mount guide. I don't have it. Um. Uh... You don't want the earrings, those are for tanks. Alright. Uh, should I roll a need? Yeah. D did I literally roll a one? Oh, well. Yes, you did. <laughs> well, yes. congratulations. Well, you now have another pony. Yes! That much closer to the unicorn. <laughs> or wait, Kieran. That's right. I heard a white bitch. So these are the creepy dudes that came out after, uh, mm -hmm. after the, okay. Bastions. Right. Creepy dudes. All right. So, uh, back at Maelstrom Command. Oh, I just gave you a teleport. Uh, you can tell the area you're on your own. Excuse me. That's the wrong place, but oh well. Okay, so I need to go to... Minzola Minza Lower Decks. Yep. And you should set up favorite destinations. Mm hmm? On favorite, if the destination is marked as your favorite, it costs half the price to teleport there. Ah. So you can have three favorites, and if you use the one time password or the. The, they've got some secure token thing. If you use that or the one-time password, you get a free etherite. Or an etherite that's free to teleport to. Um, okay. I don't know how to do that. Um, setting up a one-time password is fairly easy. You just go to your account settings on the website. I think it's Monk Station. That's where you right. a lot. Yeah, it looks like I've got three ponies. I think I just have the Markov from Ramu and... What's its name from Shiva? Oh wait, I don't have... No, I just got Markov on this character. Shiva's on another character. Yeah, I've got three ponies, two, 
two birds. And, the, and I don't I think have I have any dogs. Three birds, two dogs. One of them is the hardest dog to get, in my opinion. Probably not a very disputed opinion either. I just have one bird. Well, you can't have any birds right now. Yeah, no. Your chocobo does not count. It's a bird. Yeah, and that's not what people mean when they talk about bird mounts. But we're, we're talking about extreme trial rewards from Heaven's Word. But it's a bird. It's not a bird. It, no. It, but it's got a beak and 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 feathers. No, no. Fair and enough. wings. Wings. This is a bird. This is a bird. My, that is a chocobo. My, that, that's bird ask. It identifies as a bird. Shut up. No. You're pooping on my parade. You're like my teammates who told bird. me flurries aren't snow. That's what you are. No. Flurries are not snow. Flurries are just treat from Donald's. Yes. <laughs> Oh Trace come! Oh oh! Shut, shut up, operator! <laughs> Don't knock a freaking McFlurry, dude! Come on, man! They're delicious, except they dude. have chocolate in them, and therefore I cannot eat them because they make me sick. Oh! Wait, wait, wait! Chocolate makes you sick? Caffeine. Wait, really? Ca ca uh, I so that wait, wait that much? Makes you sick? Mm -hmm. Any stimulants. Wow. There there really is like next to nothing in chocolate. Like literally next to it, it's it I I I mean I know that they say, Oh well chocolate has caffeine in it, but it's like like when when it gets to the point it's in a Hershey's chocolate bar, it is so so diluted beyond all recognition. I mean, with all the milk and all the other additives they put in it. But I don't have a lot of stimulants, so I'm extremely sensitive to, that, to them. Hmm. Combine that with my autoimmune issues, I get sick. With oh, okay, you got autoimmune issues. Okay, I got that. Yes, they yeah. flare up my autoimmune issues, which yep. causes problems that are not really something you want discussed on stream. Oh no no! Trust me, my wife has an autoimmune thing, so I kind of, I kind of uh, no, understand it, that. No, it just it grosses out the viewers. If you right. Go into details. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I don't need the details. Let's just say I kind of understand what you're talking mm -hmm. about. Because it because it, it like caffeine alone. I'm just like, how the crap does caffeine make you sick? And then if it flares up autoimmune issues, it's like, okay, I got it. But yeah, it's a good thing you're not a girl. Because which sense? Girls. Okay, Will, are you backing me up on this? Are you saying that women need caffeine? No, women need chocolate. Oh. Um. You see, dude, I, I I can't speak to that because the reasons of which women would need caffeine <laughs> uh, would need chocolate. <laughs> Um, quite God has a married man can confirm. <laughs> See, it, you know, due to the uterine cancer and hysterectomy, <laughs> uh, my wife, it, it's not, it, it's not a factor you anymore. You don't want me to get into it on stream. Yeah, it's okay. not. A, it, let's just say suffice sufficeth to say it is not a factor anymore. So, for me, chocolate is like my, my one of my favorite foods. Like. Growing up, birthday cakes were always chocolate, chocolate, and more chocolate. <laughs> My only, the only type of pie I like to eat, graham cracker pudding filling, or not, graham chocolate, chocolate, chocolate pudding, pie. Yeah. Well, chocolate pudding filling and a graham cracker crust. Right. That's called a chocolate pie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But some people do the chocolate pie with the traditional crust, and that's just disgusting. Yeah. My, that was the only pie i actually can kind of sort of tolerate 
So my my wife told me, hey, if if you're if you're feeling left out when everyone's eating pie, no. I'm like, I'm not feeling left out at there all. There is a novelty pie I discovered: Oreo pudding filling with Oreo crust. Oh, okay, that kind of novelty. Yeah, it's novelty <laughs> because it's so freaking sweet; it'll put you in a sugar coma. Oh. Now, what what's scary is I know people that have become so used to eating sugar that, oh. that that pie would not put them into a sugar coma. Yeah, lo those people have what we call um, glucose, Lots of glucose health resistance, insulin resistance, one of the two. Yeah, yeah they're, they're going to develop diabetes. Diabetes. They have that already. See, that, that, he's got... That's a um, burn. Yeah. That's but a burn. That's... That's actually the Nidhogg Berg. I... Yes. Yes, he's got the Nidhogg Berg. I was on the uh, Shinru Dog. This is the Ruvana? Ruvana? Yes. I feel like I'm oh, taking that... crazy uh, pills. No. I, I, See? I... Okay, look. Side by side comparison. Side by side comparison. Wings? Check. Large talons? Yeah, check. That's Beak? Not what we're talking about what check. We're talking about birds. Birds Look, are a flapping type wings. Of mount. Flapping wings. I Look. Okay. Glowing and sparkly. I don't have glowing and sparkly cuz mine isn't That's that fancy mean. pantsicle. This, That's a technical term. This mount could be considered a dragon. But when we talk about dragon mounts, this is not what we're talking about. <laughs> I feel like we're talking about the sandwich taco tables. <laughs> no. When we, when we talk about dragon mounts, what we're talking about is the mounts that drop from the Shadowbringers trials. Body chaotic. Are those going to be dragons? Body. Yeah. I've got oh, I've never said have know. one. Um, All right, let's 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 get somewhere, okay? Let's let's do something instead of just sitting and arguing about how my mount is obviously a burb. You know, it's not a burb. I, I can't now, help no. it if you have bourbon and. I know I've had too much bourbon. All the flames. Ah, oh, that's an easy one. I has I has a burb. And and. It has no burb. I have burb. Burb 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 is the word. Burb 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 burb. You see, calling that chocobo a bird demeans. I did not call it a bird. I called it a burb. Okay, Even no, so. you see, the, the chocobo is a jerk bird, of which I am king of. No, those are peacocks, and even my three-year-old calls them jerk birds now, which I am very proud of. And the... I, 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 I kid you, I kid you not, the other, the other day we were driving, we saw a peacock, and she goes, Look, that's a peacock, that's a jerk bird. <laughs> I was like, so, I have done my duty as a father. But oh, putting man. the chocobo in the same category as the birds that you get from Heaven's Word, trials farming, demeans the efforts and work of the people that farm those mounts. But does but easy. does the bird know is being demeaned? No, is you're not demeaning the bird. You're uh, demeaning the people that well, farm the mounts. Well, are, are, are the people that farm in the mounts? Do they even know they are being demeaned? Yes, they do. Yes, yes, they do. Because you're talking to them. <laughs> come on, so come on, operator! Back. You got it. You got to appreciate that Al Gore reference. I, I, I would if I actually paid any attention to Al Gore and had oh, ever come on, dude, off. Pat. That's like that's like one of Pat's number one. Uh... Oh yeah, I know. Pat does a great Al Gore impression. Right, and that's what I was I going for. I want to know. Have you ever? Seen the rain. <laughs> <laughs> when Neptune's bones. <laughs> With your SUVs. <laughs> yeah. All right. Le le reattune the Zahach. Uh, Etherite. Ooh, Ifrit. Oh, oh. I, I, gotta, I gotta listen to my number one jam in the rain. Hold on. Number one jam in the rain. Bum, 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 bum. All right, jam done.
you know, Farrell, considering that I already got one pony tonight, I feel like if another whistle drops, I, I should let you have it. But... I'm going to roll need on it anyway, if it drops. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, we should let him have the pony, but no. I, Th those things are too rare. You you are uh, you are more... You're, you're, you're still reeling from my burb comments. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have no <laughs> idea how many hours people put into farming these mounts. And, and I know that you have to know that I'm being incredibly facetious with this. You know, no, I'll I give you just this this one. This one? This one. The swans? I thought we were talking about gooses. Honk. Ow. Don't hit me. Hey! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Space goes coast to coast. I miss that. Brack. Did you ever? Did you ever watch Space Goes Coast to Coast? Never on purpose. <laughs> oh man, Qui Gon Joe did. Yes, dude. Space Goes I Coast mean, to Coast was just glorious. I. Yeah, it's never one of those shows that like I ever tried to figure out when it was on so uh you know i i try to watch it like if i ever found it like channel surfing or whatnot i i'd always stop and watch yeah i i watched it because it was was it the first show of the midnight run at one point i think it was that sounds very plausible yeah, because I think I might have mentioned this before, but when I was a kid, I had East Coast feeds of all yeah, the major Coast. networks. Yeah. So then, um, so then I could watch the midnight run starting at nine p.m. Pacific time, which was awesome. So, um, all right, there you go. New duty. Duty. Oh, Thor March Extreme is going to be a blast, isn't that? Just kidding. that'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Yay! I don't think we're going to be able to get to Thorn March tonight. No, probably not, because we're going to go start doing coils next. Oh, cool. wait. He's already got I the quest for it. I might have to switch to Alma for coils. Yeah, you'll be fine on that. No, because I don't think I have... I, I don't think I've gone through uh, coils on Alma. Then just go pick up the... Oh, you haven't done it on that one. Oh, okay. I mean, I might have picked up the quest to to, to start it, but I, I don't think I've done it. Hey, Ifrit, how's it feel to be hit by Fogleave? And two dots. And two very minor dots. Hi, me. Ah, oh, he was now involved. Dang it. Forty-six K, that's what I like to see. Bye again. Don't mind me, I'm just passing out. I'm I'm a little tired. By me. Hey, well, you mind taking that chain to like the other side of the arena to break it? Okay. Oh, well, we're not breaking that one. Not breaking this one? No, because the break distance is determined by. Um, so like if we're if we were really close, it would be really easy to break it, but or rather really close when we got it, 
but because we were so far apart, we, it would be impossible to break it because we couldn't move any farther apart. It's amount of break distance from where, or amount of distance away from where you were when you received the chain. Huh. Okay. So if you're on the, if so if you're both on the edge of the arena, as far away from each other as you can be, it's impossible to break the chain. So what does the uh, what does that chain do? It <laughs> inflicts <whistle>. damage. <laughs> Man, Feral, we're gonna just have to start bringing you a pony hunts. <laughs> oh, well, I am glad that I can do something. Um, looks like I do not need that. No, you don't need a fending bangle. Though, if this were back in the days of 2.0, we would be farming into yada yada. You get another one. Oh, boy. Do I need an Inferno Horn? Eh, probably not. It's a crafting material. Yay! And, of course, Will gets the uh, whistle. Again. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I just... I go in, I do all the work, I kill the thing, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. To be fair, with Titan, I did finish off that fight. Yes, you did. And I was helping with the nails here. Yeah, but I could have handled them solo just as easily. Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> uh. I mean... If I really wanted to get these ponies, I could just go farm these things solo as a warrior. Or even a gunbreaker for that matter. Gunbreaker can be very difficult to kill. All right. All right. See you, Qui-Gon. Thanks for tuning in, man. See you, Qui-Gon. should have a teleport offer there. Oh, I do. Ha! Nice. I'll be back. Thank you very much for the 10 bits, my friend. Sleep well. Take care of your family, dude. See you later. Farrell, I feel like you've been playing games long enough to know a fake door when you see one. I mean, <laughs> maybe I'm just being unreasonable here. It was, but... I was zoomed out. <laughs> Man, why is why is Frito doing a double post? I don't know. Mm. I don't understand why Frito's doing a double post. He's been double posting lately. Uh, I need that. Maybe he's receiving double notifications in his API or something. Maybe I don't know. I'll have to figure okay, that so out. wait a second. Uh, Titan, Garuda, Ifrit, Shiva. Um, Shiva is part of MSQ. No, I mean those are the four ponies that I have. So, I'm... oh, Ramu and Leviathan. Yes, they have them, and I think. Good King Mogglemog as well. So wait, there's seven ponies? I there's only there. six. Uh, let's see. How many? So see, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight extreme duties. Minstrel's Ballad, Ultima's Bane. I know Ultima's got to have one. Howling Eye and Abel, well, both definitely have one. Bull of Embers definitely has one we just got. I know Laurel Eater has one. Striking Tree, I have the Striking Tree one. And I've got uh, Shiva on another one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Thorn March might not, but I think it does. And I'm pretty sure Ultima's does as well. All right. Back 
to the waking sands. Mm-hmm. And then it's to Wineport. Good. Because I need booze. <laughs> and we're going to meet up with someone you haven't seen in a long time. Someone I've probably forgotten about. Most likely. Yeah. I tend to do that. But they'll be very important. Importante? Yes. Mm. In fact, by the time Stormlight comes around, they'll be a main staple of the recurring MSQ cast. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I was going to switch out to mm -hmm. Alma. Because I'm pretty sure we're done with all of the 2.0 primals, except for, well, I guess we could do Ultima's Bane. We should yeah. probably do that. I don't even know if I've cleared that one. I have. That would be All an right. easy one to go do, too, because we just have to go talk to the wandering minstrel in Mordona. So All let's right. do that. Coming before. back with Soraya. Eh, you can do it on Alma. Unless you want the poetics on Soraya. Actually, I do, because... No, wait. Is it... No, poet... Poetics. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll just stop by Mordona. Uh, it's a fairly easy quest to pick up. Actually, there's probably a ton of quests, so... But let's just focus on this one particular quest tonight. So that it doesn't take too long to pick up quests. Also, the more astute among you may have noticed that I no longer have the Mentor Crown. This is due to the changes to the Mentor system. Oh. They've made it so that all Mentors have to recertify. I currently do not meet all of the new requirements. Oh. Pobrecito. Yes, they they require a one massive fifteen hundred commendations. And, and how also, many do you have? Um, eight hundred something. Let's see. Eight hundred eighty-eight, actually. I mean, there's some Chinese people that would just stop playing the game at that point. <laughs> All right. So take three ritual foci to Rowena at Renovance Toll in Mordana. Ah, Renovance Toll? Yep, well, we're headed there anyway, so... Okay. Um, this is just going to unlock a weekly quest you can do that we're not really interested in anymore because it's, um... Outdated content. Mmm. What we're really interested in here is talking with the wandering minstrel in the pub. It'll be next to the bar. Well, actually, you want to talk to Alice at the bar to talk to the wandering minstrel. Ah. Um. Ultima Ballad is the one we really want. I know. Shush. 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 Useless cyclists. Shut up. <laughs> Nothing is useless. 
Yeah. Uh, Shut up. Shut So, uh, Farrell? What? Uh, do you realize the importance of the Wandering Minstrel? Um. No. Do you know who Yoshi P is? A uh, peeing Yoshi? <laughs> that was a face palm, wasn't it? <laughs> Yoshi P <laughs> is the lead developer. He's mm -hmm. the lead guy for okay. Final Fantasy XIV. All right, He's I, the I, one that single-handedly salvaged 1.0 and turned it in. Well, single-handedly as far as design goes, turned it into 2.0. And led it to being the successful multi-million player base game that is capable of rivaling WoW. Okay. So the Wandering Minstrel is basically his in-game persona. Oh, mm. fun. Mm. And there's a character in Shadowbringers that's... Um, Due to the circumstances of Shadowbringers, they call the Minstreling Wanderer, and he is the in-game persona of Koji Fox, the head of the localization team. <gasps> that I did not know. That is awesome. I'll have to keep <laughs> my, my eye out for him. Well, it, it won't be too hard to find him once you complete the level 80 quest Shadowbringers. It's pretty easy to find him. He, he just shows up in the Crystarium with a big special quest marker above his head. So. In fact, I just spoke with him today to unlock the uh, new trial. Okay. This Man, that is a really is a easy one. That is a really roundabout way to get to Ultima. It's kind of weird. Um, no, this is Ultima Extreme, which I can't remember which gear this drops, but I think it also drops an Orchestrion roll that you can only get in Extreme. So, but I'm technically not getting any experience from these fights, right? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, no experience or items will be earned from the individual enemies. If the duty rewarded any, you'd get that, but this stuff doesn't reward any XP. So now we're pretty much doing this so that we just, uh... So that you get the duty completion, which rewards you with a ton of tombstones. Specifically tombstones of poetics, which are very helpful. And they'll be helpful in getting you geared up for Heaven's Word. Because okay. you will need to be at least just shy of 130 if we can get you there. Preferably at 130. Would, would he be able to do that uh, gearing up in uh, Mordona? Yes. The, uh... Yeah, so this just drops accessories, which actually you do need the ultimate choker feeling, I think. Yes, you need to speak with the Wandering Minstrel before we leave.
So this will be the last thing that I do. Then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to call it for the night. Yeah. So we don't want to get you too deep into coils. We'll just get you set up to go into them. Okay. Who am I talking oh. to? Uh, the person with the continue quest, Alize over there. She should look familiar. You also yes. want to talk to the Chocobo Keep since you haven't. Yes. Yes, she does look. She is very familiar. She is buddies. Alfino's twin sister. That's what I thought. I I couldn't remember if it was a friend or a sister. I I can't remember what class or job she is, but once you get to the expansion mage, she becomes a very very nice red mage. Um, she's arcanist or scholar at the moment, something like that. Yeah. Just like Alf, you know. But she doesn't, she's not quite got the aptitude for that. So, by the time Stormblood rolls around, she's become a full-on red mage. All right. Speak with Eingolf. That's not here. Speak That's... with the serious individual. To tussle with the gods is the question, on, I think. Oh, wait, no. Primal Awakening. Oh, yeah. Here, hold on. Let me... To tussle with gods is another Mordona quest. Right. And she was talking about Castrum Oxidens, which is just up here. Oh, look. A giant claw monster. It's a hunt target. I'm just gonna pick a fight with it. Oh, this one's actually an S rank. Hooray for me. Yay for you. Ooh, I need it. I need it. Okay, this thing's stun locking me. Well, want to come give me a hand on finishing this stuff? Well, I'm on my way. Okay. It's got stone skin on, so your magic's not gonna do anything. I miss stone skin. But uh, it's also reflecting physical damage. There we go. Ooh, teal. Yay! And poetics and Gosha. Oh, you can't get Gosha yet, you're not 80. Me choose a shame. Need to get Feral up there too. Uh, I need to kill these guys for a uh, hunting log. I need one more.
There you go. That's it. Your quest is in here, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it's just right over here. Yep. Hunter Log Entry for Conjurer 50. All right, there you go. Yep, Binding Coil of Bahamut. Mm. Very nice. And that will take a considerable amount of time if you're wanting to get to bed about now. Yeah, I'm wanting to get to bed. Yeah. So That's going to take at least probably 10 to 20 minutes. All right. It's yep. not simple to solo. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for tonight, then. So good. Uh, I'm just going to pop out a chat and just quick show close. So. Okay. All right. Have a good night. All right. See you both tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me tonight. I'm um, just going to shut things down and get to bed. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As usual, operator... And, Will, thank you very much for helping me out with this game. I, I am enjoying myself, although sometimes I feel like I'm just a lump on a log. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's okay. I, I am having fun. I am enjoying the story. I'm enjoying all the things that we're doing. So, uh, yep. And this is kind of the doldrums, I guess. So, anyway, we will uh, get back into it more tomorrow. Uh, please check out the Discord if you have not already. Um, no, nope, wrong one. That one and that one. Yeah, so if you have not checked out the Discord, you should. Uh, good night, Isaiah Norris, wherever you are, and see you later. Good night.